Hello once again. We are still working with Inventor. We're going to do our third part of our wheel project. Uh, this time it's going to be another revolved project, although it is again one that we can do with an extrusion. It is the axle. Again, like before, we start with a new part, standard IPT. Again, this is in inches. And in this case, we're going to begin with a simple line. Once again, we start at our origin point and just drag out a couple of inches, two or three. I'm going to pan over a little bit um, to our right. Now, this should give us enough room around which to revolve this part. Um, so we will begin there. Now, this part is the axle. The axle is a series of rectangles or rectangular parts that revolve around a central axis. They look roughly like what I'm sketching now. I'm just kind of roughly laying in the geometry. I'm not really worried about is it perfect yet or not. I'm just getting things laid out so I can see what I've got to work with. Okay. Um, well now we're going to slap on a few dimensions like this line here. We know it needs to be about exactly 0.75 or 3 quarters of an inch long. Same with the one on this end. Um, the base size, in other words from end here all the way over to end here needs to be exactly three inches. Uh, that is pretty much all we need except for the diameters of our parts, which given our pieces, we know that this diameter right here needs to be 0.375 or 3 eighths of an inch because it's three quarters overall, so I've cut it in half. Uh, this one right here needs to be exactly 0.5 and this one again needs to be 0.375 to match the other side. That will give us when we have revolved this part exactly a three quarter inch diameter on these ends and a one inch diameter down the center. Now that I've got my sketch completely controlled, I will finish the sketch. I will go to my revolve command and I really only have one line. Now, I have not assigned the axis to this because I did not create a center line. It did not, autom did not automatically assume I had an axis. So I'm going to simply click on the axis. I'm going to select that line right there and it does the rest on its own. Once I've got that, it's a full revolve. Hit my enter key. Um, like again, like before, I'm going to change my visual style to be shaded with edges so they show up a little more. I do need to put a chamfer on each end of this axle to make it fit correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply come in here to my modeling tools. I'm going to go to my chamfer, select this edge and this edge. And an eighth of an inch is what I want. Hit the enter key. That's it. This part is now done. I will simply go back like before and do a save as. And again, I'm saving to my desktop. We're going to call this part axle 1. And we're going to call it A because, again, I'm going to show you both ways of creating this axle and there's really no difference in them other than time, how many operations you have to take. So that axle is created. We're going to make a new axle again, standard IPT, and this one is going to be an extruded part. And I'm going to do it in one extrusion and then do two cuts on it and then remove the chamfer. So I simply begin with a circle around that origin point, take it out that way. I assign a dimension to control my geometry. Again, this is supposed to be one inch in diameter. I simply have got that created. I finish my sketch. I tell it to extrude that part one inch. Nope, try three inches. And there we've begun. Now, again, I'm going to change my view st style. So I've got my edges. Now I'm going to select on that surface right there. I'm going to go back to my model and tell it to create a sketch on that surface. At this point, I will then create a circle that comes out about three quarters of an inch by eyeball, but I will assign a dimension to control it to exactly 0.75 inches, and then I can finish that sketch. I go to my extrude, I select the outer portion, I change it from an extrude outward to an extrude cut, and I tell the distance to be 0.75 inches. I click on my OK. I've generated the one end of my axle. I need to generate the sleeve on the other end. So I'm going to rotate my part. I'm going to select that surface again. I'm going to do a create sketch. It's going to go flat to me. I'm going to go to my circle command. Again, I'm going to roughly throw in a circle that's about the right size. I'm going to take my dimension tool. 
I'm going to put on some dimension controls and assign it to be exactly 0.75 inches or 3 quarters of an inch in diameter. I'm going to finish that sketch. I'm going to go back to my extrude. I'm going to select that edge again and this time again tell it to cut and go OK. Again, the only thing I have left to do is make a chamfer. And I just simply select my edges I wish to chamfer and apply that. I don't know why it bounced off all of a sudden, but there's my part. Again, I can simply go in here. I can do a save as. This we called last one Axle 1A. This is going to be Axle 1B. And I've created my part.